Our athlete in focus today is experienced Swedish rider Patrick Kittel, who is targeting the final next year that's hosted on home soil. But first, he'll have to impress in Salzburg with his horse, Deletio. You know, I've been in the sports zone for 20 years. You know, that can only mean that you actually are producing new horses and that you are keeping yourself at this level. And I think that's the cool part about the whole riding, that you can develop horses into greater things. I think for me, it's like always when I start with a new horse, I always try to spend more time with it around it. You know, just to see how it is, like how is it in the stable? How is it when it goes outside in the field? How is it when you, you know what I mean? Just all of this, how is it when you brush it? How is it when you put the saddle on? Is it grumpy? Is it happy? Is it tense? Is it tight? Is it slow? Just to get a sort of an understanding of how he is before you ride. And then when you ride, then you have to feel the same things. But then you have a little bit of a feeling how the horse is as an individual. And I think always every horse you have to treat very differently. They're all very different individuals. So for me personally, always, I always search for the, the complete package with them. I think he's a very complete horse. That's what I actually like. I mean, the canter is sensational, super walk, super PF passage. It's really like everything is actually there. He just needs to, for me, know me even better, you know? Like I always say, like it takes you five, six, seven Grand Prix to really like get the super like, connection between. It takes some time. It doesn't, you know, I know people saying like, oh, I just buy it and then next week, you know, we do our first Grand Prix. But when you know horses, you know, it takes time to, to get to the place. This horse is a big black stallion, he's beautiful, he's huge, um, and the music is very powerful. And it's a little bit different from what I normally do, because normally I do like sort of Rocky, you know, Guns N' Roses, Billy Idol, but this horse had a, has a different character. And I think when you do the music, you always try to bring out different characters, and I think that's what I'm looking forward to the most, to like in the music bring out the best of the character and the horse with the music. I talk the whole time. I think if people would hear the microphone, they would be like, shut up. Because it's like, wah, 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 wah. good boy, good boy, good girl. Yeah, yeah, this is good. A little bit of lift. Wah, 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 wah. And it's, it goes like that the whole time. I think the voice is really important anyway when you communicate with animals because they feel your voice. If you have a soft voice to them, they feel it softly. If you have a hard voice, they immediately tense up. So I think communicating with your horse with the voice is extremely important. And for me, that's one of the key that I do when I work with the horses. I always say every time you, you finish, you like sort of like, you know, you reach the goal for that day. And you know, a lot of things can happen with horses. It's never a clarity that you will finish or start. So every time it's sort of like, yeah, we made it again. And I think that relief makes me really happy. And you know, when you look at the horse and you see them flatter with the ears and you know, that brings out the big smile in you. He is the ultimate showman in the arena. Patrick Kittel, next to go for Sweden, riding Deletio, this 14-year-old by De Niro. Second in leg two at Lyon. And he's lying a little bit down that leaderboard at the moment in the point standings. But this is a fairly new horse, and he's, he's getting such a fabulous partnership with, with it so far. What he does with music is he turns horses around from being a plain old beach donkey, I'm not saying Delito is a plain old beach donkey, but a plain old beach donkey into the likes of Allegro. He is a master in the arena with the freestyle. Yeah, he really, really is. They just come alive. Yeah, it's something that he definitely excels in. I haven't heard this music for either, so I'm guessing it's new with this horse. He does change his music quite a lot, though, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he does. clean changes just going a little bit onto the shoulder especially towards the end just like them to be a bit more uphill but there's a new partnership yeah you know you can't really ask them more than that they, this he's finding all the buttons yeah. the, the horse is answering all the questions as well but well i'm sure that will come
I'd say his Piaf was one of his weaker yeah. pieces at the moment. Yeah, again, you can just see there, just dropping behind the leg. But I'm sure it'll come when you've got a passage like that. There's definitely going to be a Piaf in there somewhere. Well, certainly no stranger to dressage. This was formerly campaigned by Emil Ferry and he's only, I think it's probably his third or fourth international appearance with uh, Delotio. And it's getting better and better and better. Second at Lyon. Is he going to take the lead in this uh, leg five here in Salzburg? It would be great if he did. I think he might. Oh, it's not 80.010. Ranging from 79.0 up to 80.80. Goes into second place.